to look at the biblical, biblical opinion concerning witchcraft. What is the divine opinion? Because what is the divine opinion? The opinion of God concerning witchcraft. I'm preaching from my book dealing with witchcraft oppression. I'm not saying everything is here. It's my outline. Amen. Yes. If you remember, we read the book of Nahum and last meeting, and that was when I was defining witchcraft. And I took time to show you that these guys are bloody. Very bloody. Very, very bloody. And they destroy nations. They destroy families. They destroy businesses. They destroy homes. They destroy destinies. They destroy stars. And that's why I want to tell you, every time God of heaven talks about witchcraft, he talks about witchcraft with finality. He talks about it with such finality that you say, hey, Okwachideka said that uh, uh, he does not deserve the death of a sinner. Eh? Is it not so? But when you read his opinion about witchcraft, it has no respect for that other injunction. Why? Because, brother, they are terrible. And that, that terribleness is what we want to look at. Number one, Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. The Bible says, go there. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. In simple language, you should not allow a witch to do what? Leave. God is not asking you to go home and take a knife and begin to cut witches. No. The, that's what the Bible says. We, we are, our weapon of warfare are not carnal. The Bible said they are, they are what? Mighty. Mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Stronghold. We use spiritual weapons. And let me tell you, they are more later. Number two, when they kill, there will be no evidence. And look at what the Bible is, what I want you to understand there. Number one, why is God so, I mean, so fierce, so angry when he talks about witchcraft? Number one, witches are instruments of rebellion. They report directly to Lucifer. They report straight to Satan. They are instruments of rebellion. As instruments of rebellion, don't forget that rebellion is what divided the kingdom in heaven. And God lost one third of the angelic host. So that particular memory is still fresh in the eye and the heart of God. Number two, they are enemies of the kingdom. Witches oppose every program of God. Witches do not like any genuine man of God. If they don't wage a war of attraction, they will wage a war of blackmail against you. They will make sure that they will stir up evil opinion to weary you, to wear you down as a servant of God. The program of God, they will attack it. They will fight it. Because is this thing is a kingdom battle. Kingdoms are evolved. I want you to understand that why the Bible warns that we should not shed blood, which is, they not only shed blood, they eat human flesh. Is it? They drink blood. They suck blood. They waste blood, waste life. And don't forget the Bible says that the life of man is where? In the blood. They feed on human flesh, including even their own children. And you see from the, looking at all their behaviors, you discover that something inside them gives them pleasure in rebelling against all divine instruction. All biblical injunction, that's what witches work against. Talk about homosexuality, it has a witchcraft source. Talk about lesbianism, it has a witchcraft source. That's why there are demonic powers there. And talk about, mention it, all of them. They know, and that's what they do. A minister of God invited us to come and do a program. And when I was going, he called me the second to the last day. He said he had just built a new uh, structure, and he was dedicating the church. And he wants me to come and do the seminar. And ahead of the seminar, he planned a three days retreat. And they here at the church, they were there fasting and praying. I came the first day and preached. Unlike me, the first day I started on witchcraft. And when I finished, they summoned me and complained. What's the problem? They discovered that they don't know, they have a camp for boys and they have a camp for women. Remember, at the foundation of that church, as they are trying to lay the foundation and dedication of the church, Satan sent his witchcraft boys into the place. And they came in. 
they were raping the boys. Homo say, a boy, a man will rape the boys. Pant down, pant down. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When he will finish using the boys, he will leave. And the boys will realize that somebody has used it. Homosexuality. That's what Satan brought. I told you that they are against the program of God. This is a very holy man of God. This is a man running a very holiness ministry with prayer as a backup. See how witches are arranged to lay a bad foundation on the first day as the thing is being dedicated with pollution on the ground. You, you, you need to understand as a Christian, that's why anywhere you are, even as a Christian, you need to be watchful. You need to pray. The church needs a lot of prayers because Satan battles the church from all fronts. All fronts. They rejoice at seeing people suffer. That's why God doesn't like them. They like to destroy people made in the image of God. They, they are extraordinary people. They, they, they are strange. Let's go to the book of Leviticus. Leviticus 19. Look at verse 26 and I will also read verse 31. The Bible says, you shall not eat anything with the blood. <laughs> Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizard to be defied by them. Listen, look up. If you are an Igbo man, I'm not saying if you are born in Onka, I'm saying if you are an Igbo man and you grew up in the village, be honest, even if you are in Onka here, when the Onka was Onka, not now, it's a city. Before, when you go to a local market, you know those places where they kill goat, kill uh, whatever, uh, uh, nama, you will discover that they have a way of harvesting the blood of the animal. Put it in a special bag of the animal and then cook it and they will be selling the blood and people like to go and buy it. The people involved in it are the witches in the city. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And all those who are eating it are rebelling against the biblical injunction. And that's why I say witchcraft is a network. And listen to me, or you cannot do such without being defiled. Why? The Bible says, you shall not eat anything with the blood. I went to, some years ago, one of the reasons why I find it difficult to eat any meat, particularly, I find it difficult to eat chicken in any hotel. That's true, I'm sorry. I'm not stopping you. You can go ahead. But look at my reason. I saw a hotel preparing. They, they, kill, they were killing chicken. And I was somehow privileged to go to the backyard. And I discovered that they were not killing the chicken. They were hitting them. And hit them. Some they twist their neck. So that the blood will be inside. And they will die and swear. So that they cook them with the blood inside. Directly disobeying this injunction. All such people are witches. Satan has anointed them and given them a direction they must walk with and follow. So that the church people will be defied. And that's why, if you're a Christian, can I be honest with you? I'm sorry to say that Christians are too gullible. Anything goes for a child of God. And that is an error. A Muslim cannot eat anyhow. I did my youth service, in case you don't know, at Obelidu Girls here in 1981. And one of my friend, my colleague was a Muslim, the copper friend of mine. And you know, that young man, they had a good naman aglo. They, he would never eat the nama killed in aglo. And I, one day I kept asking him, I said, my friend, why do you have to travel from Obelidu? Remember there is road now, there was no road. Come to Bebendorf. From there to Ag from Adazi to Agro. From Agro again to Oka to buy a meat. He said to me that the ones they kill in Agro are killed by Christians. And that the ones they kill in Oka, he said there are incantations that are supposed to be altered before they will kill the, the, the cow. And so, as a Muslim, if he does not, if he is the one Christian kill, it will defile him. Hey, child of God. 
You are eating anything. You don't know the meaning of defilement. We can't be eating anything. The Bible says you can't eat in the altar of God and eat in the altar of Baal. The Bible says it cannot be this. It cannot, it's not true. He said because of this, many are sick. Many die. Bible. I think I'm teaching holiness and, Bible and witchcraft today. Are we still together? You still like me? Even if you don't like me, no apologies. Because if I say sorry, it will not be from my heart. Amen. The Bible says, regard not them that have familiar spirit. I'm reading Leviticus 30, verse 31 now. The same chapter, 19. Regard them not, neither seek after wizards. Don't seek them. But many of you, when you have a little challenge, you see, then when they walk, I have a brother. He, in fact, he, he mixes up drugs, the uh, herbs. My brother, me, Sabi say, don't go yaru, the cure malaria. Me, Sabi say, uh, we can drink guava as tea and so many other things. Am I complicated? I can go and collect aloe vera from my backyard and eat. But, brother, if a herbalist have to get this one, collect this up and collect this up and give you to drink, I want to ask you, what is giving him the inspiration? The Holy Ghost or the evil spirit? Yeah. And you will not be defied by the evil spirit giving him inspiration. My brother, I want to ask all of us, please, today, as long as we love God and love Christianity, and we don't want to be defied, there are different forms of satanic defilement. We need to be more cautious. We need to watch. You can't live anyhow. This is why so many Christians are porous. They will tell you, yeah, be, 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 be. one said to me in the drama we had today, he said, I've been praying 24 hours a day. I said, yes, he said, this is an anointed lie. You are praying 24 hours a day. Where do you sleep? Where do you eat? Where do you drink, drink water? You know, some people talk like that. And when you see such people, they have, never, they have really never prayed. Amen. Witches and wizards, they drink blood. They use enchantments. And the Bible said you should not observe times. They observe times. All of them, including the Ezemwa in your village, the witch doctor, all of them, the chief priest, they, they know when the moon has appeared. They know they calculate the moon even more than you who read geography. You didn't hear what I said. Am I, are we together? They delight in going contrary to all divine injunction. That's witchcraft for you. And I hope you know some of them are here. Whereas God says, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And that it should not be defied. Witches prefer to attend their meetings naked. I hope you know. They carry their broomstick and attend their meeting naked. They love brooms. And it's an old ancient thing. And those brooms are instruments of heavy destruction. They can use it to sweep away destiny. They can use it to manipulate a lot of demonic energies. So many things are done with it. We will come to that when we look at mysteries of witchcraft. Go and bring your friends. Because we are on exposition and dealing with witchcraft this period. Am I communicating? Whereas God says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hear me. These people do, listen, all witchcraft sabbats are, they are, they do, they are involved in all kinds of sexual immorality imaginable. I hope you know that in the church of Satan, part of the celebration is that at a time in the worship, then at the height or at the altar, the chief priest and the chief priest and the priestess, they will go to, they will go naked and go through an orgy of sex. And when they finish, Satan will manifest. The Bible says, we should not have anything to do with what? Familiar spirits. Oh my God. Witches are in great, you know, marriage. Very powerful one. No witch doctor can practice without the familiar spirits. The spirit of the Mary. Vision, all these visioners. Traditional healers, traditional bone setters, what else? They are capable of defiling us. And as a child of God, you need to know 
and Satan has employed them here and there. Give them. I was listening to a particular message with my wife in my house one day, and the the witch doctor, a professor consulted a witch doctor, and the witch doctor told him that he should come after so so day and collect the drug. So that day the professor came. He was out. He met him outside. He said he should go to the house. Apparently not remembering. Or you know some of these people as they get old their head doesn't coordinate properly. So he went there and mentioned it to the son. The son went and got one bottle and gave the, from under the bed and gave the professor. He went home and kept drinking it. And then after drinking it for about one week or two he came back and then mentioned to the man that he has finished the, that bottle and that the problem has not uh, changed. The man shouted, which bottle? He told him, he said no, he has not mixed the thing. Now he did that bottle is the urine he, in the night when he wasn't want to come out. That's where he was urinating. Oh, brother of Jesus. Somebody say, Professor. <laughs> God, uh, you, uh, you that is shouting. All this is the one. Mixing green, yellow, black, brown waters inside basin. And they carry and they move around. I said, Nanka Boboti, Nanka Nagwa Jadi Jadi, what this one. And you are collecting and you are drinking. What are you drinking? I want to ask you. That's real concussion. And what's his name? Was he not here? Balogu told us how he was marrying the different wives and graduates. She will, when a woman come and complain about the husband and all that and all that, or a boyfriend, he wants him to prepare a child, he will use his sheet and his urine, mix it up very well, put honey, and do some things and give her. She will go and be licking it. He said, the man will follow you. And then after, the girl will follow him. <laughs> you are not you are laughing. Can I tell you, you have leaked a lot of things, whether you know or not. Somebody say, oh God, I destroy every bewitchment, every sorcery working against my life, against my brain, against my thinking. And everybody say amen. Deuteronomy 18, I'm reading from verse 9. Thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. That instruction she stand. Let's not learn to do the abomination of heathens. Let's not learn to do their practices of unbelievers. We are, you are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. The Bible says we are called out, called out to live an extraordinary life for our God. You better know who you are. That's the problem. Why a lot of Christians are suffering? They have not understood their position and their authority in Christ. You need to know your position and you need to understand that you are not ordinary. It's not about repeat after me, you say it. You need to know that we are not ordinary. You are called out for an extraordinary life. And when you are not living out, when you are copying the wall, when you are competing with the wall, you are off the track. The Bible says, there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through what? The fire. Don't send your son or your daughter to go and do all this she. Or that you said what? Divination. It's a the church. I say, okay, no problem. You will take okay, I got it. It's a very good thing. It's a Charia, now you are in. That you said divination or an observer of times. Some of us, we are Christians. You are still going into the newspaper. You are reading about Aquarius, Pisces, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Capricorn, Gemini, and so on. Even we are the address. No, the Bible says you should never do such things. Please, don't ever forget that you are called out to live an extraordinary life. A royal priesthood. Somebody say, I am a royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar person. Called out by my God. Out of the, out of the general public. 
to live a peculiar life, a special life, extraordinary life for my God. Somebody say amen. amen. You are called out to live a peculiar life. Hear me, my brethren. The Bible says you are not supposed to be involved. You are not supposed to consult an enchanter, a witch, or a chama, chama. Eh? Now, my husband, brother, everywhere I always tell them that stink is the worst initiation of all order because every blood covenant, the highest covenant is a blood covenant. And let me tell you. Do every deliverance without that. Some of them will not even tell you about career now. If you like, do one, do one year deliverance. If you don't address that covenant, it will nullify it. Because a strong blood covenant is standing. And some people, your parents, I said that who did it, we are very crafty. I was in a family, and a girl, her own, whoops, they did on her chest, swole, everybody could see, and others in the family. And they, we, we, I was praying for all of them one by one. And then the girl said that she's the only one in this family that didn't, was, didn't receive any seizure. And she was saying it with glee, with pride. And the mother said to her, shut up. <laughs> if somebody had a mark on the tongue or in the head, you would know unless your parents tell you. And people will not understand why the person's deliverance is a struggle to clear. They will understand. Necromancer are people involved with the living, the dead. Some of, some of you are Christians and you are still taking instruction. Your father that died, your mother that died, your grandmother that died is still talking to you and you're listening and you think you're a Christian. No! The Bible says you are a necromancer. And I said, the Kromansa, you are a witch. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Clear. Graphic. And because of this abomination, the Lord your God does drive them out from before thee. He brings a curse. He brings what? A curse. Listen to me. I wish I can compel all of you here now to take a fast. Even if you cannot fast too much, 6 to 12. If it is difficult for you, eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon, eat by last meal by 3, maximum 4 o'clock. But every night, pray dealing with household enemies. Pray, combine it with Kill the killer, destroy the destroyer. In the next 14 days, if you are not a troublemaker, what God will show you will shock you. Some of you, you will be shocked the kind of people you have been living with. Hear me, my brother. Some people are terrible. You didn't hear what I said. A woman, the husband died. And suddenly after the husband died, some people came and informed her that their husband was their member. And whoops, told him, well, so, 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 so. And the woman said, he never told him. He said, we have told you now. <laughs> Am I complicating? And the woman, when he was complaining to the family, he said, I have never seen this man. I have access to all his bags, all the poor, everywhere. He never saw one uniform. Touch your neighbor, say, are you sleeping? Touch your neighbor, ask him, are you sleeping? The witches are manipulating you. Tell him, say, witches are manipulating you. <laughs> Hear me, my brother. If what I'm saying now is making you sleepy, believe you me, you under witchcraft manipulation. And what I said last is important. Go and try Take 14 days. Pray that prayer. Four hours every day. You will be shocked. 
You'll be shocked. Because listen to me. There is no family that does not have a, where witchcraft does not have a representative. Yeah. And before he dies, if he's a man, he must hand over to one, one, or one, member, one of the children. If he's a woman, the same thing. The man will like to hand over to one, one of the daughters. And most likely, if the woman is a witch, she will like to hand over first to one of the sons. Don't forget, he can initiate all of them. Witchcraft is deeply entrenched. Witchcraft is deeply entrenched in enchantments and divinations. They observe and manipulate times and season. That's why there is, because they have this understanding, hear me, the easiest thing to do is to manipulate the period of a woman. To manipulate women getting pregnant and not getting pregnant. I don't know whether you discovered that it's a common rich, it's a common problem here. Barrenness, impotence is common here in this part of the world. No, go around. I brought a minister here. And one of the, she ministers, she see, hears and sees from God. And suddenly she made a call for people looking for the fruit of the womb. When the crowd came, the woman, the preacher here, I was with her on this altar. The minister started crying. They back while they look out there and walk to me. Sim, what are you heading here? Sim, can you make it? Maybe I can see her. There are every environment has some principalities. And I told her, in my place, one of the commonest spirits or of a charm is that thing they did to IK. What you some of you are poor today, okay? Ah, all the common in my place is uh, three, you can buy three naira. Three common. Uh -huh. Very cheap. And they, they can, some of the witches can do it to their son. When they get it newly, they do it to their son. In less than three days, the son will recover. Then they will know that the father has gotten a new child. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Because under normal circumstances, the thing know they go in three days. But you see this part of the war. Oh my God. Making people barren here is very common. It's a common spirit. The other wickedness, ah, very common in my place. And what is more, if somebody dies in your family, they want you to don't cry. They want you don't cry. If you must cry, go behind the house. When you finish crying, clear your face and come back. Because if they try to wipe you and help you clean your eyes, now so you they go blind after the burial. There are territorial spirits, you better know. Even let me tell you, this thing called sanctification is geographical. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you sit down, you will see that even wisdom, there is a way God distributes it. <laughs> Have you seen an Alsa man angry before? Huh? How someone, when he's angry, you may not know. Even when he has decided to kill you, you may never know. But have you seen a Yoruba man angry? Hey, the whole people in Qatar will know. He will remove his dress and he will fight. He would, and he will not fight. Never fight. But listen to me. When the Igbo man gets angry, the Agu from his father's yard, they will be doing parade in his jaws here. You will see them market time. And when you see it, move back. Because he is going, if he decides to fight, it will take the whole of the men here today to hold him back. Two of us. Listen, you know what? Let me tell you why I like to talk about anger. This demon used to have his headquarters in my house. Okay, my anger. My own was tsunami, typhoon, hurricane, Katrina, and earthquake combined. Even one day I got tired of the thing. I get angry and I do strange things. Some of them are friends I have cultivated for two years, five years. In two minutes, I'll scatter the relationship. One day I got tired and lonely and I started crying. I came back, lied down on my bed and started crying. I told God I'm tired. I said, what kind of life? How am I going to continue like this? 
When I was angry, I told everyone, no, I don't care. When I said, Chima, I said, I don't care. When I come back to the house, I begin to care. <laughs> I begin to care. But you, you know, you, it's something hard you can tell anybody. I cried from my heart to God. And God sent me a deliverer. A woman walked into my house and said to me, my, the Lord said I should tell you, every day when you wake up in the morning, repent of the sin of anger because it's a stronghold in your life. Renounce the spirit of anger. Bind the spirit of anger. I started doing that like a ritual. Because before that, he had told me, he showed me a balloon. Pump, 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 and the thing became big and was so beautiful. And something like a, a needle touched it too. He said to me, this is how anger puncture and destroy your prayer, your anointing and your prayer life. And I used to pray who? With the same anger, I can pray 40 days, 100 days, eh? plus the anger. People who have the spirit of anger, Really, they are instruments in the hand of God for dealing with stronghold. But the devil is using it for a negative thing. When you begin to use it for good thing, you'll be shocked. Go and check all the great men of God. I don't want to call them here because I want to be safe. They all have anger. Put it to a positive use. But if the devil uses it, then you are hellish. Witches are deep into charms. They are deep into wickedness. Wickedness against the business, you know, people's business. They are involved in all sorts of idolatry. They are involved in all kinds of abominations. Are you hearing me? It is impossible for anybody to be involved in witchcraft and practice genuine Christianity. No. You can't be a Christian and be a witch. No. If somebody sees your family and is a witch and is wasting blood, do you know how many people you kiss in one day? If your mother is a witch, you better know that you need to start repentance and extricate yourself from the wickedness that she's doing. If you have pleasure in her, you share in the judgment. That's Bible. God said, because you glory in the wickedness of your father. Therefore, your father killed the prophet. You build their sepulchers. Don't glory in it. There are boundaries. Somebody say there are boundaries. Somebody say there are boundaries. Say it well. I want to warn you. I had a member of this ministry. His best friend was eventually became a, 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 a herbalist in Amorbia. And this brother was a beautiful anointed Christian and a priest today. And he's still going through things even as a priest. And our brother, because this guy was his friend, childhood friend, now he's born again. He didn't know the boundary line. And we had to call him to a meeting. See, bro, how can you be remitted? The Bible says, come out from among them and be you separate. That's Bible. Tell your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say, come out from among them and be you separate. Don't touch unclean thing. Tell him, say, don't touch unclean thing. My brother continued, and hear me, my brethren. We called him, brother, I he's my old time friend. We used to use it to make a mockery of the brother. My old time friend. He paid. What did I say? He paid. Some of you, when you were struggling, they were, they were mocking at you. When you got born again, they were a ridicule to your Christianity. Now God is giving you a little money. And suddenly, you are spending them anyhow on witches and hidden who use it to bewitch you. And you think God is even happy with you. Listen to me. You better be led by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you will not understand the source of your radical. A sister. Maybe I share this testimony. There was a powerful man of God that was in this teaching hospital at, As at Asaba. You know, there's a teaching hospital in Asaba. Many years ago. And this sister, the man of God came and shared this testimony in full gospel and said to us, he was a pharmacist there. And this sister was a nurse and will always have relationship with and friends with some of these witches. And uh, Egbe, you know, in the river right area, there's what they call Egbe. Egbe are water witches. 
I, I hope I'm getting the pronunciation. Igbe. Igbe. What are witches? He said, this particular girl will not hear. He said, one of the days, he called her to office. He said, sister, I said, the day these people will attack you, I said, God will be far to come to defend you because you are ridiculing God. To, with, they are using you to mock God. She didn't take it serious. One day, somebody say one day. One day. They targeted when they, her ogre, the pharmacist, was not on night duty. He said that day, he had been on night duty throughout the week. Oh. The day he was not on night duty, bah! they hit her in the night duty. The sister was about to die before morning. The sister, they were the first to gather around her and told her, don't you think, let's give you, you need to sleep, let's give you injection, so that you, you said, don't inject me. She insisted and called the ambulance. They normally send the ambulance outside to go and bring people to the hospital. They ask the ambulance now to carry her from the hospital to the pharmacy's house. They go to the pharmacy's house. I'm telling you a life story. The pharmacist prayed, and, but initially he was angry with her and got her to make some promises to God. And then prayed. When she became normal, he said, one more prayer. Whoever is a witch, I want God to single her out for judgment. At least one of them must pay the price. The direct source of attack. He judged her. He merely judged her. Early in the morning, they said the girl rushed from that night duty to her house. Locked her house. Took a transport to Eda. Calculate from her Saba. To where? Eda. Where the mother lives. Instead of making confession, because some of you here need to repent properly. Instead of making confession, are you hearing what I'm saying? They, she got to the door as she opened the house and greeted her mother. She collapsed and died. Her body fell into the room. She died. Her legs were still outside the door. Can we all stand? I can't finish this message today. But you must be ready to pray. You need to make war. A lot of divinations, a lot of enchantment, a lot of charms, you need to revoke them. Some of us don't know the level to which our lives are being chanted. Over time, some wicked powers are busy chanting. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every bewitchment. Over every bewitchment, every sorcery, every sorcery, all enchantments, all enchantments, all divination, all divination, all charms, all charms, all invocation, all invocation, all manipulation, all manipulation against my life, against my life, against my health, against my health, my marriage, my marriage, my finances, my finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth begin to pray. Mark out that I take authority over enchantment. All divinations, manipulations against my life, against my family, against my destiny, against my career, against my ministry, against my promotion. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire, by thunder. All enchantment, every spell, all charms, all divinations working against me, frustrating my effort. Frustrating my ministry, frustrating my career. Leba to shata, se te te, rata ta, pa to te te, eko to to, sabra ta ta ta, re te 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 ta, ika pa pa pa, se ke te, rata ta, manene kana. Today your iniquity shall come to an end. Re te 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 te.
Amen. Now let me tell you, if you break through in the prayer about witchcraft and marine vampires, marine vampires are water witches. All this Igbe. Nobody is says a one or Igbe that is not a witch. It's a, a vampire. They suck blood also. Now listen. A sister wrote me the day before yesterday. I gave her a prayer point and she was praying. And because of what she was saying, I said, okay, pray like this. Command all your blessings in the covers held by witches to be released. Listen to me. She, God opened her eyes. She was seeing all kinds of animals vomiting things. Living masnets. They were vomiting things. And she was shocked. This is a girl. She's in, she's in this meeting. You know, very in a position to be worthy in every dimension. Every dimension. Every dimension. And they are manipulating everything in her life. Hear me. When you pray, I remember some years ago when we were living in Obunago. I have always said it. I prayed that prayer the first time I prayed. We saw a crocodile vomit a white envelope. That the next week, a professor who promised me money more than five, in fact, more than six months and forgot about it. In Portacot, send somebody to Oka, the person with Oka, he said, find Chima. And they were looking for me when he came. White envelope, 50,000 naira. Then, when this road had not been tired, are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. I speak. I speak. Into the covers. Into the covers. Of the witches and wizards. Of the witches and wizards. I speak. I speak. Into the waters. Into the waters. I speak. I speak. Into the storehouses. Into the stores. Of my father's compound. Of my father's compound. I speak. I speak. Into the graveyard. Into the graveyard. And I command. And I command. All my stolen blessings. All my stolen blessings. All Jesus. 